What is up, everyone? Bolt here for MMM Gaming. I'm actually here accompanied with Simbucky, also from MMM Gaming. You'll see him later in the program. We are bringing you an unboxing of two subscription-based services that have been going around the internet now for some time, and they're, they bring great items to the gaming and, and geek and nerd, uh, I guess, world that we all live in now. So if you don't know what they are, they are Loot Crate and Nerd Block, and they you pay a small fee, and you basically get a bunch of items that you don't know what. It's basically a surprise every month, and I'll let some Bucky explain what he's going to be unboxing. He will be unboxing Loot Crate. I will be the one unboxing Nerd Block. So um, what we want you guys to do is every month we're going to have this video, and we're going to call it Battle of the Boxes for whatever specific month it is, and each month, both of these services have different themes or collaborations, so you, it's never the same thing every month, which is the coolest thing ever. Um, but so we, what we want you guys to do is we want you to check out this unboxing, see if you like them, buy them if you like them. The, the fees are, are relatively cheap and everything. But we, what we want you guys to do is we want you guys to post on the comments down below anywhere, or like or dislike or whatever. But let us know which box you believe is the better one. And what we're going to do is next on the next video, whoever has the most likes out of both mine and some Bucky's channel, because we're both uh, show this video on both of our channels, we're going to tally up those votes and whoever has the better uh, items in their box or whoever is the winning box, we will have them unbox first on the next video. I'm uh, hosting this one first because I'm the one editing it. But uh, if Simbuck, if you think the the loot crate for this month is better, you'll see Simbucky first first next month. So uh, let us know. Make sure you uh, leave likes and subscribes and comments and everything. Maybe we can get loot crate and nerd block into this. And if uh, maybe when we get further and further down the road, we'll uh, maybe give away an item or something like that. Maybe two items. I don't know. Uh, me and Simbucky will talk about it. But I think it'd be really cool to bring in some viewers, check these things out. Maybe get a nerd block or loot crate of your own. Uh, but here we go. I'll, we'll start off with my unboxing, and then we'll go from there. Thanks. So how about we get into this unboxing of NerdBlock? So if you've never gotten one before, it comes in a box about the size of a shoebox or so. I mean, fairly big for the price you're getting and everything. Um, but I know back in May they had a Star Wars collaboration, and so in this one they were going to really jam-pack this one and, and hopefully add some more Star Wars stuff. So let's see what we got in this store. And we definitely get a new Star Wars item, kind of uh, similar to the item that I got in the last one, which is that R2-D2 back there. Uh, it's another plush little figurine and everything. These are really cool. I got a little uh, TIE fighter. A buddy of mine uh, told me he got an AT-AT, so that's really cool. Um, but so yeah, I'll definitely add it up there, so set that off to the side. And uh, in Nerd Block, which is a really cool thing, I think worth the 20 bucks that I'm paying, is a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt every single time you get a Nerd Block. You don't always get that in Loot Crate. So that was definitely a one-up for me. So in this one, it seems to be we have a... <laughs> well, everyone knows uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming out with a uh, new movie, so we've got a little Turtle Power t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Uh, show that up to the camera. I think that's uh, really awesome. Uh, parts, repairs, and pizza established 1984. Foot stinks. I mean, you can't beat that. Everyone, everyone in our generation grew up with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and now generations are going to be able to see them. So, toss that over onto the bed. Um, this this crate does look a little uh, with a lot less items than you normally get, but they're big items. And definitely, this is the biggest item I've seen come out of here, and that is a Zombie Strike Nerf Gun. That is freaking cool. As you can see, I have a Nerf Gun in the back, one of the bigger ones. It shoots like 30-something feet. Uh, this seems to be a disc shooter, so that's pretty cool. Uh, rip this sucker open, and see so you get a little, you get two little discs and stuff like that. Uh, probably won't get it out now. Uh, I don't have any scissors with me or anything, but that is definitely really cool. I mean, how many times you get a, a Nerf gun? This thing, at least $5. You got probably a $15 t-shirt right there. There's your 20 bucks. 
Um, let's see what else we got in here. It looks like there's a magazine, a little Star Wars magazine, so another another Star Wars little insider thing. Um, just going through it. Uh, I don't even. I got. I got to look through this thing. Look, there's a girl right there, a little Jedi. Uh, some artwork and stuff like that. So I mean, some bathroom reading. Heck, what are you gonna do? And uh, that is definitely close to the end of it. Um, this time we got a Comic Con DVD. Uh, looks like you get two little figurines, like a little Stan Lee, and uh, not quite sure who that is. Maybe you can see, but I uh, have to go over that. I have to watch it and stuff like that. Not quite sure what's on it. Uh, oh, Josh Whedon. There we go. Josh Whedon right there. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, doesn't have a date as far as to when, uh, what Comic Con it's for. But uh, that's pretty cool. And so, yeah, that's about it for this one. So. Like I said, some Bucky's going to show you what Loot Crate had in store for this month. I didn't get it. I canceled my subscription to Loot Crate because I was kind of, I wanted to see what he's got. So uh, I'll leave it up to that. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll let you guys decide in the comments whether you thought that the Loot Crate this month was better or the Nerd Block this month was better. And uh, we'll go from there. But thanks for watching. Now here is to my colleague, Sim Bucky. Hey, what is up guys? It's some Bucky here. How are you guys doing? As always, hope you guys are doing good. Now it's my turn to unbox this month's Loot Crate for you guys. Now to briefly explain what Loot Crate is, Loot Crate is basically this little package which is sent to your house at the end of every month and inside the package contains some items pertaining to that month's theme. Now this month is July and the theme that we're dealing with here is villains. So whatever is inside this little box is going to pertain to everybody's favorite bad guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside this month's Loot Crate. Alright guys, so as we open up the Loot Crate, the first thing we're going to see here are nice little decorations and drawings of uh, the case. And as you can see here, tips for the tips for the perfect crime. So that's pretty cool. And obviously you always have the uh, documentation, share, and enjoy. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like how they added up um, and decorated this box uh, usually it's just plain orange so it's pretty nice to see how they did this but uh, let's go ahead and see what we get in here I guess the first thing we get is another shirt um, it's pretty cool they don't include shirts too often but I think the last I think three months they've had a shirt so and this one looks pretty nice uh, this is the Joker it says <laughs> Jokey I guess playing on Loki uh, again one of the biggest uh, villains from the Avengers series and uh, of course Joker from Batman so I kind of really like this uh, jokey and has little, you know, ha 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 all over the background. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put that to the side over here. Next thing we get in here looks like to be a nice little poster. Go ahead and see if I can take this out of the wrapping. So we get two cool posters over here. The first one is of Harley Quinn from Batman, and of course Joker from Batman. Two of arguably the biggest uh, villains in the comic book history right here. So that's pretty cool. Definitely find a nice place to hang that up. Um, looks like you can go ahead and split those off, but I'll do that later carefully to make sure that doesn't uh, get messed up. Alright, so let's see. The rest looks like we get a nice uh, decorative sock in here. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I guess they include different characters. Uh, so this is the one I got. Again, pretty cool. Uh, it's really creative. Uh, I like getting new socks, and this one looks pretty sick. So put that aside for now. See what else we get. Every loot crate, you get one of these little pins, uh, which kind of commemorates what that loot crate is about. And this one uh, is the July 2014 Villains loot crate. So that's pretty cool. You have Darth Vader and uh, different villains on inside of it. So again, that's pretty cool. Put that aside. Next, we get a Darth Vader keychain. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can take that out. I'm pretty sure uh, this is one of the many you can get. Uh, they usually have different characters, so maybe Darth Vader is one of them, and you can get different characters as well. So that's pretty cool. A nice little keychain. Put that aside. We get a nice little Bowser magnet that says, I want you. So that's pretty nice. Again, it is a magnet, so we can put that up on the fridge or something. 
Next, we get what seems to be a CD. Necessary Evil, Super Villains of DC Comics. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is going to be um, a game or whether this is going to be maybe just uh, most likely just songs uh, about the villains. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next we get a nice little villains issue. Now these kind of just contain, you know, what's inside the loot crate, you know, who the loot crate is thanks to, you know, pictures of people who've gotten previous loot crates. So again, this is pretty cool. Let's see what else we kind of get in here. Question and answers, top five video game villains. You get a nice little maze over here to go through. The shirt, the uh, different posters, the sock, the CD, and that's about it. And we got one more thing in here, which is pretty cool. It looks like we get a first edition of the Rocket Raccoon. Uh, this is a nice little comic. Um, now I'm not sure if this is if this says it for all of them. It says I have the very first one. Uh, it's probably the very first uh, episode or first comic of it. So that's pretty cool. It's kept in nice condition. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll take it out at some point. Uh, I like trying to keep things in nice pristine condition. Um, and then at the end, it says best buds with Joker and Batman. So that pretty much does it for this loot crate. Um, again, we get a nice little comic here. We get a little uh, issue. We get a CD. Get the uh, Bowser magnet keychain. We get this little pin. Socks. posters and to top it all off we get a nice brand new jokey shirt all right guys that pretty much does it for the unboxing of this month's villain loot crate hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and hope you guys enjoyed bolts nerd block unboxing in the comment section down below i would like for you guys to let us know which one you guys thought was better whether it be bolts nerd block or whether it be my villain loot crate and as always, guys, be sure to check out Loot Crate and Nerd Block. And if you guys would like, go ahead and try a one-month trial of whichever one you guys thought was better. And if you guys like it from there, you guys can always go ahead and sign up for the three-month and six-month trials. But that pretty much does it, guys. Don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe. And also, be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. I would like to see you guys in future videos. But that pretty much does it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, take it easy, guys. Peace.